Now there's an interesting way to greet a guest. How's the coffee? It's cold. I like it cold. What do you want? Straight to the point, as always. You're not even going to invite me in for breakfast first? Maybe a catch-up, for old time's sake? Is that it? I feed you, and you leave me the fuck alone. Look, I am fucking famished. I have been driving for days trying to find you in Jupiter's arsehole, middle of fucking nowhere. I'll even have you cook. <laughs> So I'll get too carried away. I was only trying to help. Truce? You'll shoot your bloody eye out with that thing, you will. I'll feed you. You'll be on your way, and I won't have to kill you. You do realise that coffee is best experienced within the first two minutes of being brewed, and that's if you can brew it within the first 60 seconds of it being ground. Well, cheers for the lesson. Fucking barista now, are we? Well, I've just learned to appreciate the little things in life, something that you've never been too keen on. All right, I'll make us a fresh one. You know, I'm actually surprised it took them so long to send you. I mean, I assume they sent you. Why is it always got to be about business with you? Six years, mate! Did you ever stop to think that maybe, I don't know, I just really fucking missed you? <laughs> no. I haven't thought about you. Or them. Or any of it. It's your life now. You wanted it. So I gave it to you. You gave it? You gave it to me? I don't suppose you want me to thank you for leaving me with your bloody mess and vanishing off in a thin air without so much as a goodbye, Charles. Best of luck with staying alive, Charles. Here's a forwarding address, just in case, Charles. Oh, what, so you could send me a fucking Christmas card? Here, look, the ride's gone bad. Do you want to hear better? Did you know that they were going to kill me? Or what the fuck is this year about? It's Italian. I thought you cared about the details. I just want to see if you knew. I needed you, Jack. It looks like you've managed well enough. Fancy car. Fancy suit. Still got shit tasting guns on. You gave that to me for my sweet 16th. I told you. I'm done with the blood and violence. You can outrun the devil, Jack. But he's always gonna find you in the end. Or oh, you're his fucking minion, are you coming to drag me to hell? I'm just here to take you home. You're here to take me home. Exactly. This is my home now. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. Really living the fucking dream. Oh, and look at you. After all your talk of being your own man, taking over the city, you're still serving your masters whatever they order. Do you know how many people are ripped off, oppressed, enslaved, and murdered over coffee? Are you fucking serious? Deadly. Did you have a point? By consuming this fine beverage, you are literally contributing to the wars being waged over coffee growing territory. Did you ever think about that? So I'll switch back to tea. I've got all grey. Don't even get me started, Auntie. And you just murdered a beautifully innocent animal no more than an hour ago. I can't afford to be vegan these days. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy it. 
So please, tell me, what is so important that they thought they'd send you after me? Let me just tell you. I tried to tell them that I could bring you back without using any force. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop making promises you can't keep. I know, but they, they wanted me to express the absolutely imperative nature of your homecoming by painting this little home on the range village of yours red with the blood of your lovely neighbors. Now, how's about that? Suppose the deal with the devil's man and no deal at all. How do you want your eggs? Poached. This brings me back to when we were kids, man. I mean, nothing ever tastes quite as good as bacon and eggs prepared by your own big brother, does it? As much as I've enjoyed this little family reunion, by the time you've finished that blood coffee, as you've so eloquently put it, I need to know why the fuck you're here. Or as far as I'm concerned, you've just had your last meal as your five-year-old self, and we're gonna fill that French press with your caffeinated blood. You really are a bloody psycho, ain't you? I mean, why can't we just be civil about this? Fine. How's work? It's great. It's great now. I mean, you did leave me in a spot of bother with your whole murder, suicide, disappearing act, finding out your brother's a cop and the vigilante. However, there was a certain poetry to the fact that everyone thought I was the one who killed you. So you did get that promotion after all. You are now looking at Fabulous Freddy's right-hand man. You're welcome. Thank you. Muzzle Tov. So why then? Go for all the trouble to resurrect me when surely it's better that I stayed dead. <laughs> like it or not, everybody already thinks you're back from the dead. You might as well make it official. How's that? Three of our boys went missing a few weeks back. Ronnie, Johnny, and Fat Danny. They all started turning up, dead, murdered in the most gruesome of manners. 
all made to look like suicide. Turns out there is a serial killer. Well, I didn't do it, did I? I've been here milking goats and assassinating wild boar. Yeah. You remember? But you know how to find them. You've done it before. Could be Russian or dragon. Well, that's what we thought too at first. Until we found Vladimir and his mistress drowned in their own penthouse. Same thing happened to Eddie Zhang at his boyfriend's place down in J-Town. So it's a copycat vigilante. Lock your doors, call the cops, leave a fucking nightlight on. I didn't say vigilante, did I? I said serial killer. The eighth victim was a cop. Could be a dirty cop. It was your old partner, Trentino. Friends dead. And he's as clean as they come. Exactly. That's a fucking shame. Still, not my problem. Now, right, here's the fun part. Whoever did this, he or she has been leaving your fingerprints at every scene. They also left you a message. Got a tip-off on a police raid. Decided we beat them to it. Underground casino, sure to be drugs, weapons, cash. Standard, we go in, we kill the bad guys, jack their shit, rough it, right? But when we broke those doors down, it was just full of... Bodies. Piles of bodies. Torn up like meat in a butcher's shop. The doors were locked. From the inside. And the killer was present amongst the deceased. Got everybody else before committing suicide. The card was on him? Mm-hmm. Did he have my fingerprints? Didn't have any fingertips. Was there a mask? Fused. To his face. Time to wake up then. Isn't it? Is that? I know you come round. On one condition. Anything you want. We get in that car. I don't want to hear another fucking word till we get there, all right? Silent as a grave. I promise. There's a promise you might actually keep. Excellent. There's the positivity we're after. We could stop at that burger place I found on the way here. The waitress, man, she was so keen, practically frothing at the gash. I'm driving. <laughs> Dip your toe in the water, throw a wish in the well. When the flame's getting hotter, will you walk through hell? Will you run away, boy? Will you hold your ground? Said it 
yourself, mate. You can't get rid of me. When I was young, I knew I was the one. Wouldn't be a long time till I'm making headlines, waiting for the right time to come. But now I am older and the days fly by like a jet plane to shower me. Again. Yeah.